Bitte begrüßen Sie Matthew Held und Judd Trump. Yes, another big crowd inside the Temple Drone this evening. They were here for Monday night's match where Trump beat the local man, Lucas Kleckers, started and finished with a century. And then yesterday against Matthew Stevens, it was a bit of a struggle at times, but he did finish really well. Made a strong finish there. Matt Selp had to win a match to qualify, and already here he's beaten Martin O'Donnell 5-0. So Judd Trump versus Matt Selt for a place in the last 16 of Snooker's German Masters. The winner plays either Tep Char and New or Jamie Clark. They're also Thank you this evening. Frame. Judd Trump to break. Judd Trump is a twice winner of the tournament, albeit one of them had to be played in Milton Keynes for reasons we all remember. But he's having such a good season. Of course, he won three ranking events in a row, and in consecutive tournaments, he actually beat Matt Selt. The English Open and the Wuhan Open. Selt only won one frame in those two matches. The overall head-to-head -head favours Trump 11-3. But Selt has beaten him in the UK Championship. They're good friends, these two. When Trump lived in Essex and practised there, that's where Selt's from, of course. They were particularly close. So let's hope they put on a good show for this big, big crowd in this evening. You already hear applause from other tables, in fact. Yeah, I was just saying, Neil, that... The match that we did yesterday, Trump and Matthew Stevens, it, it wasn't flawless by any means, but he did in the end, I think, finish nicely. Yeah, he, he played OK in both of his matches uh, towards ball. the end. You know, his first win was, was also where he, he slightly got worse as the match went on and then finished well. He's not playing absolutely at his best, I don't think, but he's still here in the event, so that's really all that counts. He's entrenched on the match table as well. So not going to do him any harm. Yes, his, his win was against Lucas Kleckers, the German player, who didn't really turn up on day one. Foul. Yeah, I think Good two Trump matches four. between these two players stick in my mind. That, that win in the UK Championship, undoubtedly where Matt Selk got up the verdict over... Judd, but also their last match in Wuhan, it was where obviously Judd had just travelled over from, from Brentwood, looked a bit weary the first match or two, and then he played Matt Selt and played absolutely brilliantly to demolish him 5-0, just when we thought maybe he was going to be flagging, it was the opposite he warmed up into the tournament it was over in no time Yeah, they've also, of course, played in a ranking final, the Turkish Masters, two years ago, where Trump made the maximum in the final session, 1-10-4. But Seltzer is one of these sort of bullish characters. That, even though the record isn't great against Trump, he doesn't lack the confidence. Well, that was a chance. I tend to agree with you that he, he is capable of beating players on his day. He, uh, he's not frightened to get involved in a... A scrap, you know, he has a word or two to say for himself out there. Yeah, well, in the last event that he played in the World Grand Prix, he seemed to pot a black that then jumped out the pocket against the same Bafai and, well, was not best pleased. Well, they're red in bulk complicating things a little bit. Just on the... Uh, we've been speaking about the bonus, the Bet Victor European Series bonus. The only two players who can stop Trump winning it this week are actually going to play each other tomorrow. Mark Allen and John Higgins. One of them needs to win the tournament to take it to the Welsh Open. But obviously one of them's going to get beaten tomorrow. It's slightly odd to start to the match, really, with the way the balls are, and uh, you can never quite tell what you're going to get with this game, but it's uh, 
a strange beginning, not a dynamic start. The red in bulk has not helped either player to play safety shots to that end. <laughs> Matt Selt played uh, Mark Selby at the Crucible and uh, Selby won the match. Selt was getting more and more agitated as the match went on. He got warned a couple of times for some of the language under his breath. I think it was. Certainly, the referee had a word with him. <coughs> Because of what was being said out there didn't amount to any penalties which is good to see but uh, I think the frustration was getting to him as I say we, we made the point he can get like that the further into a match we get but ultimately he's a very good player yeah I mean it's a, it's a sport that can produce frustration I mean this afternoon Mark Allen won but at one stage Thump the table after missing a pot. was an attempt at a plant especially where the cue ball was played to so had he knocked the red in the middle he'd have been on the black otherwise if it was a safety shot he'd have found the bottom cushion oh that was ever so close well we're, what are we six minutes in the only points on the board are in and off no balls potted yet tip on Judd's cue there because he changed his tip during the course of that English Open final after the first session against Shangander he was trailing went further behind in that match but came good won the final and then as I say went off to Wuhan won that event as well turned out to be a good idea to get it changed at that moment he had a golden spell of three ranking events in a row yeah, and let's be honest, the easy thing, having won in Brentwood, would, would have been not to go to China. Not to put himself through all the travelling, but he did, and came back with the trophy. Then Belfast a week later, came back with that trophy. Since then, he's been in two more finals, Champion of Champions and World Grand Prix, of course, recently. Six in total this season. happened in this first frame now that the red is now at this end of the table it's more of a conventional state of affairs where you know you can potentially get a cue ball up into the bulk area if he can just move the red that's part way down the table which I think you'll try and do here There's no attempt at a pot but just getting the red down and this actually could be a good safety shot if he's got cover crucially uh, as he left just a chance to get through to the red maybe he has 
keyboard's swinging out towards the reds if he pots this or whether he misses it even. This time he has left the red to middle and he has left the opening chance. So the impasse broken after nine minutes. Can Joe Trump get going? Of course, he made a century in, in the first frame of the week for him against Kleckers. Eight. When the season began, he was sort of cast out almost to, you know, table two, even table three in one of them. Luca Brassell, the world champion, obviously Ronnie were kind of favoured, but the success he's had, 11. he's found his way back. Obviously, Brassell's out, O'Sullivan pulled out, but Trump just defined the status out there being on the main table with uh, the season he's enjoyed. 12. Back up to second in the world rankings as well. Red to the left of the blue is causing a problem. It's always nice Mind to in. have the blue to play positional shots on. Well, that lady was uh, one of the Home Nations events, I remember, in the front row. Big Judd Trump fan with the tattoo. Point here. I didn't expect him to miss it, 20. but it wasn't straightforward, as I say, with the red next to it. That's not a good shot, is it? <laughs> uh, I'm sure he must have played on the pink to the top right pocket to get that on its spot, but he overhit it. It was a poor shot. Certainly didn't play on the yellow to that middle pocket. So he's done well to pot it in a way. Those shots are not that simple these days into the middle bags. They're fairly, fairly tight from that angle. Matt 30 in the world rankings, although it's worth saying I mentioned the Turkish Masters final two years ago. Of course, in a few weeks' time, those points will be coming off that he earned in that tournament on the two-year rolling system. In terms of this season, got to the last 16 of the UK Championship and was a quarter-finalist at the English Open, where, of course, Trump beat him 5-1. Won quite a few matches, actually, matches, which means you get a lot of points. He's already qualified for the Welsh Open. 11. Well, you can get through to the potting angle up the table into the top left on that red up the, to the left of the bunch. The other red, he's looking at into the opposite top pocket. I don't think he can leave anything playing this one. Good shot. Well. Well, 
Once again, the problem is getting onto a red from here. Probably a shot which deserved a slightly better fate than what he got. Open the reds, Mind but him. in each other's way again. It's been a, a little bit of a, an odd first frame so far. Balls haven't quite run free the player. So just a safety shot to end the break. Of yourself, 19. Chad, okay. I think he, he hit the uh, red on the thick side it through the cue board at extremely wide angle to get around him behind the yellow. I don't know if he played it just exactly like that. Try and play the little glance. Maybe trying to hit the top red here, the one up the table by the blue spot. Hard to get a thin edge of that one. But either way, it's gone safe. Or fairly safe. I did think that he would uh, be reluctant to go for that, but it's very well played. Humble. And that was not very good. Has he got away with this? It's somewhat odd beginning, isn't it? Let's be honest. I mean, he's got quite lucky there. He's left a very thin shot at the red he's closest to. I think I've already seen as well. And for Matt Selt, he lives every shot, doesn't he? he? Lives every moment. It's almost like every shot he plays is the biggest shot he's played, and that's why at some point he does sort of lose it a bit, or can do. But I kind of got away with that, really. And only in the first frame, it feels tense already, doesn't it? <laughs> well, neither player has settled into their natural game yet. That's something we can say. <laughs> 
Well, this is a slow start. Continue on the, the adjoining table and one of them. As we see, that's landed in behind the green. Jamie Clark looked absolutely certain to win the first round against Tepcharanu. He potted the second last round and was right behind the black. He's all he needed. And he's missed the simplest of blacks. And uh, Tepchaya <coughs> took last red and all the colours to steal it, but the miss on the black was unbelievable. That's live on Discovery Plus, one of the matches you can tune into. Yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if you're a club player and you sort of play with your mates on a, on a Monday night and you miss that black, you'd be absolutely devastated. <laughs> it really was unmissable, and yet he missed it somehow. Amazing, really. full start but this is another opportunity for Selt this red to middle he pots it and screws back for the black then he's got a real chance of getting the frame one nice shot one. But like so many before slightly hampered queuing on the black Sold one. It's a significant miss, I think, even though we haven't really got going yet. This evening, six tables. Let's see how close the audience are. There's Graham Dot. Tepchire there as well. And Carter on table two. So, in fact, this table, which is the main one, is actually, as you can see, furthest away from the audience. There are screens, of course, as well. They can follow it on, all the scores as well. Yeah, it's probably quite a surreal experience playing on the main table here. I saw that lady who's you know, pretty obviously a Judd Trump supporter with a Trump tattoo and uh, I mean she would be watching from very much the sidelines. Uh, she'll be delighted that uh, he's now in a position where he can press on in this frame. There she is. Yeah, she obviously 16. thought a T-shirt wasn't enough. Went the full, full hog with the tattoo. Seventeen. Twenty. So it's a frame of what might have been, certainly, in that cell, but uh, if this red and black goes in, he would want snookers, he'll need snookers to stay in the frame. 28. So a little bit 29. of uh, sanity already, uh, slightly mixed up opening frame. No heroics there. The lead is 39 points. One snooker to tie. 36. But he could be in a snooker of his own. Uh, not quite. He'll certainly want to play on 36. because the table is conducive to getting a snooker. The brown and pink being so close together. Quite a nice target.
Keeble just ran on there. It wasn't quite a snooker. What we saw in the previous round was another Matthew. Matthew Stevens just couldn't quite convert chances from Trump's mistakes, or not enough of them anyway. And he made a few in this frame, but again, Matt Selt couldn't take advantage, ended up missing that black as we saw to the left corner. Now he needs. Well, one snooker to tie, that's successfully laid, obviously. They're the kind of situations where you almost certainly would get a snooker just trying to use the other balls as cover. Such a wide area to do it, but it's Selton who needs a snooker, not Trump. Say, there's no obvious sign that Matt Self's got any touch yet because a lot of the shots he's played have been quite a long way out on position or cue ball control. Oh dear. Oh. The task has become much harder. It's not conceded, but. Trump four. Now he's 43 behind 35 on. Lost control really of, of the exchange as well. So his hopes of winning this frame receding. <laughs> Good grief, that was thin. <laughs> he nearly dropped. I don't know how it stayed out in the end. It looks like it's teetering on the edge, doesn't it? As you say, I mean, I didn't consider it as a pot, but at this point, I think he's going to drop in. Gotta take the high value colour anyway with it. Well. <laughs> Not much has gone right for Matt Sell in this frame, I've got to be honest. This would be a good shot to just keep some glimmer of hope alive in the frame. Good shot. Yeah, obviously ideally would have liked to keep the red on chance of the free ball on the red, but that's to be taken away. That's why I guess why Trump played the shot he did. Seven. So it's three snookers needed now. Where the black is, it'd be a pretty nasty snooker if you could land the cue ball in behind there. Which is what he's trying. Matthew Salt, nine. 
country. Well, 31. That's the difference here. I mean, he could have potentially potted the brown and he would need two and five point penalties, but not so. Matthew Salt's three. Meanwhile, the defending champion, Ali Carter, is already 2-0 up against Pan Zhu, who uh, got a sort of growing reputation. But Carter, happy memories of the temper drum. He's won it twice here, of course, 10 years apart. And he's having a good season in general. Silt's just not quite getting these snookers, is he? And that brown has carried on running. So it is cuttable. And it is in. Oh. 31 minute frame. The cue ball just holding on. Yeah, I think Matsell will be ready to set these up and pretend the first frame never happened, I should think. Yeah. Judd Trump four. He did have chances, first but frame. it is Judd Trump who has taken the frame. Now. 1 0 then. Remember, it's first to five to advance to the last 16 here in Berlin. So we're underway for another evening here at the Tempodrome, where Judd Trump leads Matt Selt 1-0. Just waiting for Selt to return. It's quite a lengthy frame. Here he comes, 31 minutes. In fact, it's not him. It's <laughs> someone else. 31 minutes it was, and uh, he did have chances. Oh, here it is, Matt Selt, actually. We are ready, I think, to get underway. Thank you, second frame. Matt is to break. Well, we saw this morning, Karen Wilson lost a, a very long frame to Ben Wollaston and came out the next frame and was a changed man, attacked, played brilliantly actually after that. So can Matt Sell just get over, even just, like you say, forget that even happened and just change things? We'll find out in due course. Yeah, see, he may have thought he had a ball roll off in the first frame, that black that he missed. I don't think he did roll off, but at the end of the frame, he was... I was quite keen on um, sort of, I don't know whether Michael Kessel was all that pleased about it. Not really supposed to do that, I don't think. Not in the middle of a match. Just trying to see if the ball rolled off. I suspect he just missed it because he hit it wrongly. Just on the other scores, Sam Craigie and Her Gu Kwong, because he beat uh, Mark Williams. They're one each. Graham Dots 1 0 up on Juicer. Zach Sherity's 1 0 up on Elliot Slesser, who, of course, had the walkover. Hussain Vafai was not to make it. Ali Carter 2 0 up on Pang Jung Zhu, and Tep Charan New 2 0 up on Jamie Clark. Again, the cue just running further than Judd Trump wanted, but he has still got the yellow. What is it to stop short of that beyond the brown, I think? As you can see from that angle, it isn't a, a, the easiest of shots, but the uh, beautiful pot. The cue just seemed to run and run on this fast bed cloth. I know that during the Masters we uh, saw those two maximum breaks which brought some footage back of the Kirk Stevens maximum which is just over 40 years ago now Three. against Jimmy White. Played a shot from green to brown and uh, he seemed to hit it really hard. It pulled up short and got perfectly on the brown as played. But it made me think that the cloths were a lot slower then 
than they are now because they seem to run and run. Whereas he had to really hit it to take it around the angles that day, did Kirk? It's a bit noticeable just watching it back. How different the cloths played. I don't know what's best. I mean, when the tables are too slow, the players have to hit them with more force and things can go wrong. But sometimes they're almost too quick nowadays. The balls just don't stop. I think this is underlines the, the genius of Ronnie O'Sullivan. He, he can adapt, can't he, to, to seemingly any sort of table pretty quickly. He's not here this week. Now, Selt with, a, with an opening here. to be Has he left anything the red to the middle perhaps I'm sure that will go yeah he's not made a good start at all has he and he has had chances not as if Trump has started well himself It didn't sound very healthy. It sounded like somebody snapped their cue, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think they haven't. Let's hope not. A bit early in the night for that. This may not look so difficult on your screen, but let me tell you, the red is not over the pocket. This is a tough plant. It's just such a terrific shot, honestly. It Seven. was so well played. The natural instinct is go for the potting angle on those. Of course, if you do, then you're going to miss the plant by a long way. I know he hasn't played very well yet tonight, but this is where he is so good. Keeping breaks going with individual pots. Twelve. He's been terrific at that for the last probably decade 13. And he's now beginning to just warm up a bit after that first frame <laughs> well maybe I put the curse on him but he's the only place where you can not be on a ball 18 Hard to finish there if you tried. But this is where Trump, of course, he's very annoyed about that, but you won't see any real reaction. And that's kind of ideally how you have to be. Just accept that, okay, it's a mistake, it's gone wrong. Try and think about the next shot you play. Trump, 18. And that was the result of it. Yeah, this is what happened. He just dropped into the two reds there. I mean, there's no point in getting annoyed when you play a bad shot, but it's not easy to uh, to live up to that, quite honestly. No, I mean, I mentioned sort of club snooker. You see in any snooker club, people losing their rag all the time, and that, they're not playing for, you know, thousands and thousands of pounds. It's just how people are. That wasn't the best shot from Selt. Cue ball nowhere near the bolt line.
it's not a good sign Judd missing those I said he was warming up but I might have to take that back because uh, Judd Trump at his best he was devouring those sort of shots Sell. Just pot a few here, just get himself going. High break, just 19 in the first frame. If you can just get a bit of table time, just settle in. Still, of course, plenty of time this evening to play well. but a half decent chance as well. Although he's enraged by something, maybe he got a kick or I don't know what happened. All I know is he's not nicely on the black already. Threw his arms up in the air. Done well, he's recovered it well. I can't imagine how he would have felt had he missed the black. 16. <laughs> 17. head movement at the moment with Matt Selt, which I, I hadn't really noticed before, but uh, see him on this shot if he's any better. Well, maybe not as bad on that shot, but because Mark Selby moves quite a lot, but if you see this shot there, is, there's a lot of movement there at the last second. Of course, you're always told to keep your head still. But... Uh, Sometimes it's easier said than done. Well, he said there the white's a ping pong ball. Obviously, he felt it sort of flew. He's still on one though. That's the thing. He's still he's still going here. Well, it should be a snooker ball, not a ping pong ball. But I, I know what he's saying. He's saying it's light, isn't it? And uh, you do occasionally get them. They're not as heavy as the rest of them. I, I don't know why it happens, but it can. Tend to screw back a lot too far on shots. I think he's probably exaggerating it a little bit. Anyway, this is uh, better. Thirty-six. From Matt Selt. Thirty-seven. Despite a couple of little chunters along the way, he's still going here. Yeah, I mean, a couple of bruising defeats, let's be honest, to Trump. 5 0, 5 1, the last two meetings. But Trump so far tonight, not quite, well, actually, not close to that form. A full ball kiss on the pink there to uh, be perfectly placed on the blue. Just one meaningful position shot away, I think, from getting this frame one from the bolt colour to probably over on the left side of the table is where he'd like to be. 
Well, he's got a choice of reds. That's nicely played. That's a, the nicest positional shot he's struck so far. Oh, May not have looked much, but it was well judged. Fortune nine. Well, Judd got in first, but when he played the blue and tried to nudge the reds, caught the pink full on, snookered himself, he gave away the advantage, then he missed that mid-range red, which surprised us all. But Selt now has finally got into the game. Six. Just wants this blue and another red. So here we are, arriving at uh, 62. The point where the next ball means Trump will need snookers. Racing across the cloth. Both players have got a little bit of thinking to do, but all of a sudden Judd less comfortable. Yeah, he's not happy about that. He could have done with the points. He, he's still favoured to win the frame, but you can see it's not done yet. And it would have been had this gone in because he was on the red. These two snookers here. Yeah, I mean, he might have wanted to leave that red on the table there, but maybe mm. it was just more Eight. trouble than it was what it was worth trying to play the snooker when the pot was so simple. But as you say, two snookers. Chance to Ten. get one here behind the brown, pushing the green up the table. Judd Trump, 10. surprised if Matt Selt asked uh, Mikey Kessler if he could get uh, the cue ball changed at the end of this frame because I think a few of the balls have reacted a little differently to what he expected. Green in, so surely Three. it will be Selt's frame. A lot of sort of hoopla on other tables. This has been hard fought on this one, but he made a good 63 in this frame. Well, Pink nearly went in. That's his <laughs> three and the frame. Trump might have played on in that case, but it didn't. And Matt Selt might not look happy, but he has won the frame, and we're all square here in Berlin at one each. Remember, it's first to five to reach round four of the German Masters. 
match night three of the German Masters here in Berlin. At the end of that second frame, which Matt Selt won, he put his towel on his face, and Marcel Eckhart, one of the referees, the spare referee this evening, come over to him. They've now left, so it seems he's not well. well I think that seems to be the case, which is sad to see. He didn't look happy, did he? And he, he had that towel on his face. Marcel came over to him, and now they've left the arena, maybe to an aspirin or something, whatever it will be, backstage to help him. But uh, at the moment, we're just waiting for him to return, and hopefully, I mean, of course, he asked, last night we saw Marco Fu. He had to retire, didn't he? He was 3 1 down yeah. to Alfie Davies. He had double vision and sadly had the match had to stop. Very unfortunate, wasn't it? Because he's had a lot of setbacks, hasn't he? He had eye problems before. And of course, during the pandemic, he, uh, he couldn't come over from Hong Kong. Obviously, very separate issues, but he's had a few reasons why he's dropped down the rankings, I think. Well, that's table two. Ali Carter, two and over Pang, but uh, Matt has come back. Hopefully, uh, all will be well here. It's been, uh, as they say, sort of a lot of it about it in the winter, hasn't there? Well, I mean, we were in York at the UK Championship and everyone seemed to be ill. Even Rob Walker at one stage was in doubt whether he could continue. And if he gets ill, then you know you've got problems. But a lot of the commentators, you know, were, were very ill and people backstage. Anyway, let's hope Matt uh, is feeling OK for the rest of the night. Played. Well played. Made in the thin edge of the red as planned. Yeah, he's definitely struggling, isn't he? That's my sympathies because to feel unwell at any time, of course, is, is not nice, but to have to go out and play a snooker match or play any sport is not, not nice. Tell you what was uh, evident in uh, Judd's previous match is that his long game was was not there. Hang on, he's going to drop in. You know, he went most of that match without putting a long ball. I think the first getting on for ten, he missed a couple that might not have been chalked up as misses, but he uh, eventually potted a couple, finished the match well. But if Judd's long game is not there, then that's a big part of his armoury that's, that's missing. And tonight he hasn't really fed any better at long range. Not yet. One. Yeah, I mean, it's early days in this match, obviously, and his opponent's not feeling good, but we do see, and we saw a little bit last season, Mark Allen players sometimes have a purple patch in a season and then maybe dip a little bit. And, of course, Trump did have that glorious period before Christmas. I mean, he's just been in a final as well at the World Grand Prix, so I'm not saying it's over yet, but it's hard to sustain that level all the time. Yeah, I mean, what I'll say about long pots is that I don't, I can't think of too many players who are playing poorly, but putting good long balls, Six. you know, usually it is the first part of your game to, to suffer at long range. Seven. Absolutely dead straight on this blue. We've seen quite a lot of that in the last three days here. Yeah. I was not quite getting the, the correct side and making the next positional shot so easy. You're very limited in what you can achieve from where he's currently placed. Eight. 
Matthew Seld, 12. I'm not sure going to make him feel any better the way he hit that one. But uh, it's hard to watch him at the moment, you know, around the table. Not so much how he's playing or anything. Because Joe's not playing a, a lot better, but it's hard to see someone oh. who's clearly not well out there. Jet <coughs> Trump. One. Yeah, we don't know exactly the problem, but of course there are things you can take. There's also things you can't take because there is a list of uh, sort of substances that you have to go through. But Marcel Eckhart, the referee, sort of went out with him, so obviously the, the officials would know what the deal was anyway. He's not the sort, I don't think. I mean, he will, he'll, I'm sure he will stick it out here, if he, even if he's not feeling great, because that's what he's like. But clearly... In such a big match, it's by no means an ideal situation. He looked at two or three different routes down towards the reds. Problem is, I always think on these shots, when you're playing directly into the bolt cushion, your, your eye line, you can't even see the target. It's not in your calculations. You've got to kind of memorise what you're trying to hit and then you have to look away to try and make the judgment. So he's not playing completely away this time. He thought about it. See, not the way he wanted to go into them, I can tell you that. Came too wide an angle into the reds there. One. Well, Trump's ice breaks so far, just 36, but this is a, a decent chance, you would say, to get going. been in three finals at the Tempodrome or in the Eight. tournament I should say one of them of course was in the lockdown in Milton Keynes it actually said a lot about him I think Nine. he won so many events in that period because it, it wasn't the happiest environment let's be honest everyone was happy that the tournaments were continuing but there was nothing happening around the venue at all other than the, the matches but he just got on with it Kept on winning various trophies. Sixteen. Tom, he's gone too far on it because that's a very poor shot if he has because it was quite a regulation bounce off the cushion up for the red off it. Blackie was right behind, so that's a. Pretty bad mistake from John, I have to say. 
very elementary positional shot. Well, that is second prize. Any possible snooker. Trump, 16. Going to see this shot again. He, it's this very elementary positional shot that he played there. It's an example, though, of what I was saying, you know, I mean, he had every right to be annoyed with himself, but he just thought about the next shot and he's played a good one. Well, the last time he played a, an escape, the key ball threw a lot wider than he expected. And this is not a dissimilar sort of angle he's coming into the red zone. It's a better line, but may have lifted it up the table if that red slips past the green. I think it goes. that close to the green as it passed it. Seven. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty three. Four. Yes, he can play under the red into the same. He would like to have been a bit straighter on it because he didn't really want to. A couple of reds to the right of the red he's knocking in, but I think he has no choice but to do so now. 13. Both players 31. struggling with their control of the cue ball in this match so far. That is a better shot. Yes, there was nothing in the way of bolt colours in the way, 36. but he still, I thought, played it quite nicely. Right across the yellow spot. So 48 the lead with a pink, another red, and a pink should suffice. He's needed a few openings in this match, in this frame, but looks like he's getting himself together. 43. Thirty-four. 
Perfect. Yeah, obviously that picture tells its own story, Matt not feeling good. Fifty-one. That's just enough on for a century. He's been collecting them this season, sixty already. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. He might be forced to be playing the red along the cushion with his right hand. Be his idea way of playing this. And that's a pity. Yeah, no Good century, six, six, but 66 and enough to win the frame. Uh, and again, there were sort of chances on both sides. Been uh, generally a bit of a struggle all round, but Judd Trump is back in front here, 2 1, and he's three frames away from a place in the last 16 of this German Masters. So Judd Trump's made a 66 break Thank in you. frame three. He leads Matt Selt 2-1. One more frame to come before Matthew the session interval here in Berlin. Oh dear. Things going from bad to worse, really. I mean, that is one of the most annoying things that can happen, actually, in snooker, to hit the blue off the break. We've all done it. Whatever you do, don't hit the blue. It puts the blue safe. Often leaves your opponent a chance. It happens to us all. It's the most played shot in snooker, but the break has never quite been perfected for all that long. Yeah, and the worst thing is really tr Trump sort of found his game in that last frame, didn't he? Put together a nice break in the end. He needed a few chances to do it. And the danger now is that he's sort of settled in. Immediate chance here. Nine. Just briefly, what's happening on the other tables? Graham Dock going really well. 3 0 up uh, against Juicer of China, who's only actually scored 13 points in those three frames, although he is in front in the fourth. 16. Zach Surety is uh, 3 0 up on Elliot Slesser. Next frame in the balance. 17. Sam Craigie has gone to the interval 3 1 up on her Q Kuang with breaks of 81, 96, and 84. So Craigie looking really good there. And uh, Ali Carter 2 1 on Pang Shung Zhu. Tep Chara Nu 3 1 up on Jamie Clark, who has won the third frame. One to four. Should have won the first. He missed uh, a real sitter of a black, it's got to be said. 25. Well, you feel he's got a play a cannon of some description here. The fact he's, I mean, he's playing the red to middle, but just delaying it slightly before he tries to get these reds opened up a little bit. Too. Red to middle. It's probably the last <coughs> option he's got. Now he's pushed that red into the bone. So top spin on this. And he can generate so much cue speed that he can make the cue ball hit the reds at real pace on this shot. But not enough to actually stop it being glued to the reds. So this break oh, ends somewhat prematurely as well. Trump, 40.
appears Jusso won that fourth frame against Graham Dot. They just went off to the interval in the background there. A lot happening, of course, at this temper drum. Uh, up to his usual high standard, but that was a very good pot. And the cue ball, he got that to come back out of the high value colours as well. It's a lovely shot. Good striking. Eight. Eleven. Twelve. So Joe Trump closing in on a three one lead. And that's Selk. Of course he did make that sixty three break in frame two, but the body language hasn't been good otherwise. He hasn't looked good in himself. Thank you. Nineteen. Oh, I don't know what happened there. The uh, keyboard was certainly not meant to go anywhere near the pink. Played in behind the pink, I think, to the right corner. So the little nudge he got on the pink worked well, but it was completely Accidental, not as played. Red, any colour. And uh, he would have won three of the first four frames without ever playing anywhere near his best. One to six. If he were to... Uh come through this match he could well play Tepchar and Nui's 3-1 up against Jamie Clark that would be quite an exciting occasion yeah I mean Jeb would be a good favourite if they were to meet him they neither won yet but on this week's form what I've seen you know, Tepchar has looked really good so that would be a tough game for Jeb he beat him nearly up to China beat him last season in Scotland on, I think it was on the black 5-4 that's right yeah I remember the match Pretty dramatic end. It was one of those where you didn't want to be. It was Michael McMullen to do it. You didn't want to be the interviewer. You had to go up and interview. In this case, Judd, who uh, was he? on the wrong side of it, because you're never going to get much out of him. Forty-one. Anyway, he'll be feeling better so far. It's not been flawless, but he's going to be three-one up. Well, he, he's taken this frame 48. very quickly. They've not been playing anywhere near 10 minutes. And not forgetting the first frame was over half 49. an hour. But this frame is over very quickly. Selt certainly needs it. The, he's 15 or so minutes, I think, just to regroup. Hopefully, he'll start to feel a little bit more like he wants to be out there because he's seemingly under the weather. 56. And he could do with his break. 
Yeah, and the thing is, particularly on the main table, you're under hot lights as well. You know, it can be a bit uncomfortable if you're already not feeling good. Six to one. Trump can't quite make a century, Six which means three. he may just play the odd uh, eye-catching one here. Here we go. <laughs> well, he 17. sort of finished on the yellow just by catching it. Seven to five. It was this tournament, wasn't it, in Milton Keynes? He played that green. And people remember it against Barry Hawkins. Seven to nine. And White just stopped dead. Very Eight different game, isn't it, like this when the pressure comes off? Players just swing at balls and they tend to all go in, but it's not really a reflection of how he was playing earlier on. But he has picked up in time. And the crowd are enjoying it now. <laughs> well, that black just flew in the yellow pocket like a bullet. And the crowd enjoyed that little clearance. So Judd Trump with that 97 firmly in control of this match at the interval. He's just two away from place in the last 16 here at the Temper Drum. 3 1 Trump leads, and he's a big favourite, you have to say, to progress. He's going to restart here. Thank you, frame five. Judd Trump to break. So Judd Trump finished off with a, a pretty dashing 97 there in frame four. He leads that Celt 3-1. It's clear Celt's not been well overall. Let's see if uh, the interval has made any difference. It's not going to make him suddenly feel great, but he has had a chance to get out of that arena. As I say, it can be quite uncomfortable under those lights. It's a very good pot, but he couldn't have got a more unfavourable kiss on the, the black if he tried. He's snooker and everything now. It's not uh, deserving of a good pot like that, the result. Sorry? Some query as to which ball he was nominating, and he nominated green. I don't think Michael Kessler quite heard correctly. Celt does like the odd word here and there, and I suppose everyone's different. Some opponents don't like that. I mean, I always think at the Crucible, when they have to sit next to each other, it can be quite, quite uncomfortable, because sometimes one player wants to sort of say things and maybe the other doesn't. It's uh, they're very close, Neil, aren't they? I mean, obviously, you've played there many times. It's uh, You don't get that at any other event. No, you don't. I was never one that particularly wanted to, to speak to my opponent, but uh, you sometimes uh, have to. Uh, a plant in which he One. certainly played. I mean, he, he had a look at it and it was certainly as planned that shot.
I played uh, Anthony Davis at the Crucible once. I was sitting next to him, and uh, of course his son Alfie has been playing in this event. But uh, after a couple of the frames, he he called me, and I thought, well, what could he possibly want to speak about? And it, it, there was a spider by the side of his table, and he asked me if he could help him because he's terrified of spiders. Anyway, I don't know what uh, Matt Selt chunted there. Give yourself one. I don't know if it, did that bounce out? He had a bounce out the other week in. in uh, so look at this. Mm, I don't know. Well, I think he did. Yeah, I mean, he did hit it hard. It's whether it sort of bounced in, I suppose, and then bounced out. Just to clarify, when you say there was a spider, you don't mean the bridge rest. No, 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 no I don't mean that. No, there was a small <laughs> spider on the table, and uh, he asked me if I could help him. Of course, I, I did help him, but uh, I didn't expect a conversation of that kind in the middle of a match at the Crucible. Let's have another look at this. I think it has bounced out, and that's the second time I've seen it happen. In the middle pockets, it's, it can happen. It shouldn't happen in the corner pockets, as it did in that recent event in Leicester, when he's enraged about it. He was throwing balls in that corner and everything afterwards. Quite a crucial stage of that match. I don't know how you know, things aren't going well, are they? There's a lot of things happening out there. He's not feeling well. He's getting things happen. He's starting to make a few comments. It's just uh, one of those nights, isn't it? That could have been worse. I mean, he has left a pot on, but he could have left him right in amongst them. But he has left a chance here. This is the thing that, as again, from Trump's perspective, your opponent, the things going on with your opponent, you need to try and block that out. It's not easy with all that sort of drama going on as well. Just focus on what you're doing. aren't exactly running favourably for either player, are they? It's one of those evenings, and whoever wins it will say, OK, let's have a good night's sleep and go again tomorrow. So Trump won. with that I think he has it was a safety shot that was miles away from what he meant to happen Not able to get to that bottom red even then it's <laughs> it deserved to be a, a, an easier chance than this left over at the top of the the ball a thin cut He kind of did get away with it because that was a wretched shot to have to play from a, a mistake of the kind that Judd made. I mean, he's called it much thicker than he meant to, and he just left that horrid little shot. Oh. 
the upshot of it all is judging Eight. again. More by sort of luck than judgment on the two shots previous. Nine. Yeah. Well, I think we've seen enough of the match to feel that Trump should win it now, regardless of the mistakes he's made or ill fortune or whatever. Certainly looking the happier of the two, the stronger of the two. And this is the thing, and Neil Robertson was kind of saying this yesterday, about Ronnie O'Sullivan, he said even if he hasn't played 17. his flawless best in all those tournaments he won, someone's got to beat him. Someone's got to actually step up and beat these top players. Of course, Trump tried to do that in the World Grand Prix final, but it applies to him here. Someone has got to come forward and knock him out of this tournament. Yeah, and the other thing about that, Dave, is that um, he might be struggling now, but you know, if you do start to play better against someone like Judge Trump, then he's likely to Wonderful. raise his own game, and, and that, that's the problem you face. Obviously, O'Sullivan is the same. At the moment, without Point going on about Ronnie, because he's not here this week, but no one seems to be able to beat him at all. He's not lost for a long while now. And I think in not playing in every event, it's a great disappointment to the, the Berlin. I think he's just preserving that run of form by not playing in everything. Some suggestion he won't play in the Welsh, although that's not confirmed yet. He might return for other events later on. 32. I think Trump has kept his focus well. He's not got involved in anything other than what he's doing. And, uh, pressure sort of lifted as his own errors earlier on weren't punished. So just looking to plough on now to a 4 1 lead. 46. Yeah, I think the four reds in the middle of the table are of interest to him. They're not easy to pot any. The, the top two into the right corner might be a plan, but the angle he's got kind of makes me think he could go into them as well. He's playing to the left of the four reds, perhaps. Well, he's broke them up beautifully. And it looks like another frame, because red, pink, and red, and it will be. Fifty-four. Yeah, and I suspect this time we won't see exhibition shots because he can make a century now, which uh, he's always on his mind if it's on. He's 961 in his career, Trump. He's only six behind John Higgins, who uh, just missed out on one, actually, in the last frame of his match against Joe Yulong, because he's still in the tournament, John Higgins. We should mention, actually, a nice bit of sportsmanship from John, because Joe Yulong, at the start of the match, didn't have his chalk on him. 68. But John actually gave him a piece of, of his. Things have happened in the past, more controversial than that, shall we say, but uh, not on this occasion. Six and nine. And uh, Higgins got the win in any case. <coughs> Seven to six. Seven to seven. He 
he's been a, a swift break as well. And it's only he sees a, a minute ago that uh, he played that poor safety shot, which him resulted in him getting in in a roundabout way because of the self miss that was difficult. Just over five minutes to break, five and a half minutes, so it's been fairly rapid. Ninety-one. Thank you. Ninety-three. Ninety-six. So this Brown for century number sixty-one this season for Judd Trump. By far and away top of the centuries list as he aims to get to 100 and indeed possibly even break Neil Robertson's record of 103 for a single season. And just illustrating the extent to which he's now taken a full grip on this match. 111. Clearance of 118 from Judd Trump, who now is just one away from victory. put together in the end a couple of good frames there and Trump looking good for a place in the last 16 here in Berlin where of course he has won two German Masters titles thank you so Judd Trump's made 118 clearance in frame 5 he's won away now from a place in the last 16 of the German Masters he leads Matt Selt 4-1 Uh, Lee Selt didn't hit the blue off the break that time as he did in an earlier frame, but he's actually done done well there. That's the sort of break you could, if you could bottle it up and take it with you everywhere, you'd be pleased. He's got Judd in a little bit of trouble. I suspect he'll be able to run into the bunch to safety, but he's still got to do it. Playing two cushions into them. Played a shot there, but not, not much moved. Of course, in the snooker shootout, which is one of the events on the calendar for day event, short format, it's going to be a pot made or a ball hit a cushion. Those last couple of shots would have been a foul, but we're not playing the shootout this week. Yeah, the applause you heard was for Tepchar and New, who's beaten Jamie Clark for 5-1, uh, so he'll play the winner of this match, quite likely to be Trump. That's a pretty tasty one for the last 16. Yeah, I mean, the, the other match we mentioned earlier on, the match which Tepchar won on the last black. But the other match, of course, is the World Championship, wasn't it? When uh, Judd won it, he was behind 6-3 mm -hmm. against Tepchar in round one. And ended up winning 10-9. History might have been very different. A shot or two have gone in a different direction in that match because he started to play brilliantly towards the end of that championship but not so much at the start it's caught that a little thick that last shot hence the cue ball is where it is but what's Matt Selt sort of got left now in the tank 
Well, and it's a bit like the previous shot, Dave. I mean, it was a big misjudgment from Judd, but I don't know how he's done it, but he's left nothing. Nothing easy, anyway. That red to the left of the blue, I don't know if it just creeps past into that left corner, but it's a tight one. Well, he, he was very lucky there, Judd. <laughs> It's not been a great night for Matt Sell. Not feeling well. He's not had a much of a run of the ball, and he, he hasn't played well either. isn't it there's another quite a bad safety mistake which has left him a difficult opening red John's getting away with quite a few here he's playing better and he's there's no fluke about the score line but he's getting a run and Matt Sell is fully aware of that as you can hear from those uh, chunterings He's going to need another one here to continue. Kind of been shut out a little bit, hasn't he? North? Only points in the last two frames. It's blue that he's going to line up. It's the kind of shot you could miss under the sort of circumstances of the evening. Ah, very well done. Nice shot. And when we spotted, though, it's going to cover him on the red. So, never rains, but it pours. Six. Yeah, he's chucking down at the minute, isn't it? Let's be honest for Matt. Absolutely pouring. Seven. Oh. It's just about on this. Again, it looked like he was going to be buried in the, the reds there. But he's got a shot at the, the pink, albeit I'm not sure he can get sensible striking. Maybe just. all right he's all right just yeah he was getting ready there for a big old scream up but actually he has <laughs> landed on the red <laughs> well he was dave i couldn't have put it any better i don't know if the black will go yes but he's going to need i don't know how he's going to get all kinds of long equipment for this yeah the black will go that's the, certainly the good news done so he's found himself in a position of some strength now because he's, he's finally got position Twenty-two. 
Well, it's not too late, is it, for something to happen here? If you put this frame away, you just never know in this game. At the moment, Trump seems a heavy favourite. One to seven. It's been a pretty good break, hasn't it, with three or four quite difficult shots at the beginning of it. Finally. 28. She's got things under control. Nine. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Frame one, frame two. He did make a, a sixty-three. Nothing really other than that tonight in terms of scoring from Cell. Watching Elliot Slesher in the back there, they're not happy about something, giving it the, the woe is me stuff. 43. 44. I mean, is there a way back into the match for him? Because all of a sudden he looks to be playing better, feeling better. Even outwardly, of course, we don't know if he's still feeling under the weather or not, but he seems to be more in control of that now. 49. 50. It wasn't a very good shot on the red to finish this angle on the black. He's all right, though. Doing his own commentary. Doing his own commentary. He's a bit of a character, isn't he? We did the, uh, you may have seen in, in the past on Eurosport, the tour mates feature and asking, you know, who's the funniest player on tour and all that. And he came up quite a lot in that. But obviously, when he's out in the arena, he it really matters to him. You can see that. As I said earlier, he sort of lives every shot. If it's not going right, he'll let you know. But it is going right for now, despite a few issues earlier on in the frame. He's not far from putting it away here. Just reminding everyone there's still a match on. Out of nowhere, there's actually a big break on here. There's still 75 on the table. 66. Of course, the high break 142. We did uh, have a uh, chance of a maximum this morning. Karen Wilson got to 96, Mr. Red to right middle when they're actually lying really nicely. Well, that's right, because you might think, well, they didn't get that close with the three reds left, but like you say, it looked like he was. Uh, well, pretty much until he surprisingly missed. Put that red into play. Is he trying to cut this in? It looks ever so thin. Goodness. Really? It looks incredibly thin from there. Playing a different red. You don't want to be sort of risking in offs and things, do you? You know, it's two snookers needed at the minute. 
I'd almost like to see him play it now because it looks <laughs> as if it's almost too thin. But we might be about to find out. He's in the best. Oh no, he's playing it into the end pocket, I think. Superb. Very, very good. Well, it seems the sun's come out for Matt Selt yeah. after all in this frame. After a rather trying start. Nine. That's not in, but 79 is enough to take the frame 79. and extend the match. Judd Trump nods his head. And we're going into frame seven. 4-1, Matt seven. Selt made uh, a nice 79 there Judd Trump to, break. to take us into a seventh frame of a possible nine. Our only winner so far tonight, Tech Charan Nu, who plays the winner of this match. Oh, suddenly, he looks like a changed man. Excellent part, wasn't it? And uh, yeah, he will knock them into the bulk area. Could be away again here. It's a really well played long pot, this. Thought something terrible had happened, but it looks like he's perhaps on the red, is he? Four. Didn't mean to hit the brown ball. Yeah, he's okay. It wasn't as bad as he first thought. He may be thinking that he was going to screw it off in the middle. He went early, I think, didn't he? There, I think he thought he'd gone in off, but no. Five. Well, the most sarcastic ever thumbs up this coming up. Incredible, really. The pink's gone in, but then the thumbs up. Thanks a lot, everybody. Cheers. Well, I'm going to say that I don't think he played it very well. Um, he may not want to hear that, but he, he didn't mean to hit the pink half ball. Probably a bit unlucky to go in off, but he didn't execute the shot as well as he might have done. One. Played with right hand running side on that. Twelve. We've had another winner this evening. Sam Craigie has beaten. Herc uh, Yuquang 5 1 with uh, five half centuries. That isn't bad. It, that could have been a lot worse. It was a good split, really. He had, the cue ball did sort of veer off a bit, but he didn't lose the cue ball to the side cushion. And the red has kind of followed the cue ball. So. 
If he played it well, he might have got a fraction, fortunately. And you won. <laughs> so Trump in for the kill. Twenty six. And they'll be focused, I'm sure, having just seen Selt put together that good seventy nine. Twenty seven. Knows he might be handed this match. Sort of petering out at one point at 4 1, or so it seemed, but not after the last frame. Could be over now, though. Yeah, he played it that uh, very well into the, an area where he was sure to be on something I, I feel. And as you see, he's got a choice of reds. Just try to hit that sort of middle red of the three. 33. Hit the target bang on. And now this really is a point where Matt Selt might have played his last shot. Of course, we don't know. It's been a funny night to be making too many predictions but it does pull that way because the balls are set up for him goodness he's 40. already got a good lead Selt was played better towards the end of the match which is something 41 With a started the evening not looking like he was feeling all that that great out there maybe under the weather but anyway Trump 48. We've not been that century to go 4 1 up. And the overall standard, when you think about it, has been quite good in the last few frames. 49. From not a very good opening. Yeah, I think Trump is one of those players, because he's at the top of the game, he's judged to, to very high standards. But if he were to finish with a century, he would have made five in three matches here this week. Which is good going. Yeah, it is, and uh, sometimes I think you know, he, he clearly he's playing well enough, but uh, I don't think he'll be pleased with his overall form. His long game isn't seven. firing on all cylinders, but he's still in the event by the looks of things. I can't think he's going to lose this, this frame from here, and sets up a very interesting clash with Tatsharu new tomorrow. He said himself, Trump, that he often starts slowly, and sometimes, of course, that means you know he gets beat early on. But it's true that you know he gets deep into an event, and his record speaks for itself. This season, he's very hard to beat. He does tend to turn it on when it matters. So that's the danger for the other players in this event. It'll be an entertaining match for sure against Tepchara New tomorrow. Seventy-three. Well, he thought he'd try and get the other red into play. Mightn't have played that shot necessarily. Keeble could all around the angles. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, it hasn't finished with a century, but so Trump. He has finished Frame. that winning break of seventy-three. A rather rueful look on Matt Selt's face. It's Judd Trump who advances to the last sixteen here in Berlin. A nice ovation from the audience. They'll be seeing him again tomorrow against Tepchaya and New. One not to be missed. Judd Trump, the twice German Master Champion, has progressed to the last 16, a winner by five frames to two. So we'll have confirmation exactly when that'll be. I suspect it'll be tomorrow night, but we'll get that confirmed for you. And uh, I promise it's been an exciting day tomorrow, because, of course, we finish the last 32 in the morning.